The nights are still long, temperatures have plummeted and COVID is not fully behind us yet. From shorter days with less sunlight, changes in hormones and potential nutritional deficiencies, there are so many factors that can contribute to feelings of exhaustion at this time of year. But there are a few simple ways to put the spring back in your step. Move to beat tiredness. Regular low intensity workouts boost energy levels in people suffering from fatigue. In a study, subjects trying low intensity exercise like leisurely walking or bike riding reported the biggest drop in feelings of fatigue compared to the group doing more intense exercises. You should keep moving and ensure you, you continue to exercise regularly as the endorphins released during activity will help give you a much needed lift. Regular exercising should also help you achieve a better night's sleep so you feel more energized in the morning. Multiple studies have shown that regular exercise strengthens your immune system too, so it can fight off bacterial and viral infections like COVID. When you exercise and get your blood pumping, immune cells circulate through your body more quickly, helping them to seek and destroy infections. This boost only lasts for a few hours, however, so that's why it's good to exercise consistently. February is also the worst month for sleep. Research has found that it takes longer to nod off in February than any other month. Who knew? This can certainly be a contributing factor towards people reporting lower energy levels in February than any other month of the year. So aim to go to sleep and wake up at the same hour every day. That'll help. Then that should ensure you get a good length of rest too. Avoid sleeping too much at the weekends. Uh, lying in might cause you to feel a bit more sluggish on Monday morning. Check your room temperature. Uh, if your temperature in the room is too high, it can make you feel like you didn't get enough sleep, even though you've had a proper amount of hours, just because you're tossing and turning and being restless. Also, if it's too cold, you might wake up several times during the night. So sleep experts recommend a bedroom temperature to be between 20 and 22 degrees. Some even suggest uh, dropping it to about 18 degrees as well. But that might be too cold for some. Even if you're sleeping well, you may experience fatigue as a result of increased levels of melatonin because of lack of exposure to sunlight. To help regulate your melatonin levels, spend as much time outdoors in daylight as you can. Take a walk at lunchtime or make sure the blinds are open if you sit near a window at work. Also, boost from within. The role of diet and vitamin D is fairly well known. For most of us, the colder it gets, the more we crave carbs. It's true that if we're shivering, uh, we burn more energy to keep warm, but as we spend most of our time in heated environments, most of us don't need the extra calories. Comfort drinks and foods are often higher in fat, carbohydrates and sugars, uh, and they can have a detrimental impact on energy levels too. And that can often end up making you feel worse. So swap in healthier alternatives, like sweet potato, lentils, veggie soups and porridge. It's also important to include a vitamin D supplement in your diet as our bodies are unable to create enough, or any indeed, at this time of year. Food sources such as eggs, oily fish, spreads and fortified cereals are helpful to include in your diet, but a good quality vitamin D3 supplement is more effective. And that's the sort of uh, supplement that we have here at Sun Sundial, and we all take it. Nutritional deficiencies can cause low energy levels and exhaustion, but also joint aches and pains and muscle soreness with vitamin D deficiency in particular. So if you're getting aches and pains, be sure to book an appointment with us because we can help you keep active and pain free.